Nearly six years after a wealthy Upper West Side mom was found dead in a bathtub, her husband was due in court Monday and facing a murder charge. 42-year-old Roderick Kovlin, a former trader turned backgammon master, was plotting his next move as he awaited arraignment for strangling Shelley Danishevsky on December 31, 2009. Police said Danishevsky and Kovlin were in the midst of a bitter divorce when their then nine-year-old daughter found her mom dead in their apartment on New Year's Day. Cops initially believed that Danishevsky had fallen into the tub, fatally striking her head, and she was buried without an autopsy because of her Orthodox Jewish faith. But after Danishevsky's family became suspicious, they agreed to have her body exhumed and the medical examiner found foul play in April of 2010. The widower's arrest came shortly before he would have been able to stake a claim to his wife's multi-million dollar estate. Under the terms of a deal with the estate, Danishevsky's family and life insurance companies, the wife's money would be kept in a trust until the wrongful death action was decided.